This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Let's get right into it. Let's do your oracle card spread, full oracle card spread for Leo, sun, moon, rising sign. Wherever Leo energy influences your chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days. Remember, if it doesn't fit, don't squeeze it. And then we have your full extended reading, which is the full tarot card spread and your romance reading. That link is in the description box below. Let's get into this, Leo. See what's up for this next week. You energy coming in. Energy coming in. Energy coming in for Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo, Leo. Okay. Let's start with what we have. Let spirit be your guide. This is about trust. This is about trust and faith and allowing somebody else or something else to be your eyes. To so basically say, let spirit take the wheel. This is also about trying to be objective and remain objective, remain above things and don't get emotionally engaged this week because um, that might bring you into some sort of conflict. So this is about taking that aerial perspective, bird's eye view of the situation so that you can assess things, collect the information, and then figure out what to do from there. This is the energy of three plus two, five, change is coming. There's a lots of changes. And you know what I think? This is like the change on the wind. Changes that birds sometimes can't control. So maybe... You see how this hawk isn't flying? <laughs> he's sitting on, he's, he's holding tight to the branch of a tree. So this is about beware and watch out because this week some major shifts are coming at you and it's how you react to them or how much you allow yourself to be exposed to them that is really going to determine whether or not you can weather the changes that are coming towards you. Interesting, okay. Um, in reverse, we have co-create with spirit, almost feeling like you've been cut off, feeling like you're not getting any kind of help or feeling like, um, the word isn't good, feeling like feeling, feeling distanced or feeling basically left out on a limb all by yourself and then watch and wait and being very, very impatient and not wanting to, to not wanting to wait. Not wanting to sit and take time. In other words, having impatience be an issue this week. And then some, once again, um, this is in reverse. Let it shine. Um, almost like somebody pointing out something to you that you don't want to see or don't want to hear or don't want to know. Or um, accusing, basically uh, uh, accusations. Accusations being flung that are not thought out and that don't have a lot of support behind them. Interesting. Yeah, whatever this is, whatever these accusations are or whatever, you know, what this is an energy of impulsivity, an energy of firing off before you really understood not you or before they whoever this is this could be reversed too right it could be for who you're dealing with firing off before they knew all the facts so this is going to be an emotionally high strong week for you be generous of spirit this is you feeling drained um, if a feeling a sense of worthlessness or um, a sense of ego, like letting your ego drive you places where the truth can't go, that's this kind of energy as well, sort of drive you into the ground. You could be very inclined to accuse somebody of something, shout shout at them, um, um, sort of sort of uh, yell yell, pop off at at people this this coming week. Uh, nothing is wasted. This is a sense of not being able to see the good and the bad. This is a sense of feeling betrayed, of feeling let down, of feeling like you have been treated in a way that you didn't deserve, of feeling disposed of. Take time out. You're being very defensive. This is a very defensive, protective energy. 
Um, it's implying that you need a break, that you need a rest, that this would be a good week to just go away and be on an island all by yourself. But clearly that's not something that we can always do. But this is you also actually wanting to just run away. And honestly, the way that I'm feeling these cards, Leo, it, it's, it's not like things are as bad as you perceive them to be. It's just very, very emotional and that the emotions are running extremely high this week. There is some sort of, there's something that I, there's something that's coming at you that's going to make you want to fire off and be very, very defensive. And it could be accusations against your character. From people who are not the most savory people, like people who don't, people who don't know what they're talking about, but they're firing off at you. Um, accusing you of things when they don't even really understand the subject matter. And in some ways, it's almost like deflating your spirit. It's, all, it's almost like tend to the small things. Yeah, you saw this coming. This has been building for quite some time and this is like the infestation taking over. It's like the mice taking over the mansion. You know, it's, it, it's, it, it's not ha having... It's having not addressed an issue for so long that it became something huge when it started out as little, but it was that piling up little by little by little. And I feel like that's where the impending explosion is going to come from. Leo, 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 sun, moon, rising energy. What is grounding your reading? Okay. Yeah, somebody who pretended to be loyal is absolutely not. FYI. That's what this is. It's about betrayal, maybe even being lied to, maybe maybe a fortune running out, thinking that you were about to get lucky, thinking that you had found something wonderful and it turned out to be false false loyalty, somebody trying to lead you and manipulate you, pull your strings to get their own fortune. Basically somebody trying to use you and manipulate you to get their own fortune. That's what this energy is coming from. And basically what this is saying to me is you see it. You see it. You see it, you feel it, you see it coming. There is some sort of insight or farsight. Truth is coming out. There's truth being exposed by somebody else that does actually love you. This is Aquarian energy. This is seeing the truth in the dark, seeing the prey in the dark, like being able to see what's going on in the dark, being able to see the truth in the dark. And it's it's coming to you. It's almost, it's, 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 it's where is it coming to you? It's almost like, Love is all around. Truth transcends illusion. This is Gemini energy, Aquarius energy. Truth transcends illusion. You're going to be able to see somebody's falsehood. You're going to be able to see through it. Yes, you are going to feel betrayed. Yes, you are going to be betrayed. But I feel like, and I feel like this has been building. And I, this is the this is the week where you actually need to confront it. This is the actual this is the week where you actually need to call it out on its own BS because this situation has been building for quite some time and I feel like you've been tolerating it. Maybe somebody played on your ego or somebody was um you know um um pretending they're definitely somebody that pretend to pretends to know more than they do and stole your shine away from you or took your, and I got this reading sometime midsummer last last year too. Yeah, midsummer of, of 2019, I got this reading. So maybe this energy has returned. This sort of, um, I don't know if it's still the same person or it's a different person, but same situation. It's like somebody has literally turned your ego against you to enable them to get something from you when it really just worked for their benefit and not for yours. But there is a sense of maybe this time around, that's what it is. This time around, that's really not what's going on. It's what you feel. It's what you're afraid of. 
And honestly, the truth is going to come out that that's not what's happening. What's happening is this is a really loving energy. What's happening is this is really a, um, an energy that can help you help um, help you transcend this fear or worry or experience in your life. This is a truth transcends illusion. This is the breaking through of the clouds. Um, this is the outcome of finally being at two Aquarius energies, Aquarius energy, uh, just this season really bringing something to light. That is something that you need to hear or need to know. There may be not even an explosion, but there has been fears. Somebody that you're around right now has made you very, very afraid. And they've made you very, very afraid because they've made you emotional and they've made you feel vulnerable again. And this is a vulnerability you remember from a while ago and you feel once again, am I being used again? Is that what's happening? Because that's what I see. And I see this attack and I hear people telling me things and, you know, I, I'm, there is shit being slung at you from a different direction, Leo. There is, there is sort of accusations that you have to fire against and you have to defend yourself against. And it seems like, it seems like this person came at just that time. And it's like, are they part of it? There's suspicion on them. That's a reflection of a sadness or a betrayal that happened a while ago. But that's not really who they are. It really isn't. Um, they're true to their nature. Or at the very least, this is what I'm hearing. At the very least, the truth is going to come out. The truth is going to come out. So this, if this, these people or this person or whatever it is, is slinging BS at you, What's going to come out is that they don't know what they're talking about. What's going to be exposed, it's almost like they're going to expose themselves by trying to betray you. They're going to expose who they really are, how they really are, and how little they really know about what they're accusing you of. Like this is mindless accusations being slung around by somebody's ego who just wants to trash talk to bring you down. And you could feel this coming from a mile away because it's been building. And I know that you, you, you need to confront this issue face on because it's been building for too long and now it's taking over, including making you distrust people who are actually really, maybe even in love with you, maybe even really good to you. Like cast a shadow of a doubt on things that are actually loving. Yeah. Hold on. Let me turn the camera angle around. So this is why you're being called to look at things from an objective perspective. And I said in the beginning of the reading, remember that's going to save you. It's change your perspective. Cancer got this too. A lot of, a lot of signs are... Change your perspective and you'll change how entangled or how badly this affects you. You want to go completely Aquarius on this situation and remove yourself emotionally. Hold yourself down and see things from, from afar. Don't let it affect you emotionally because emotionally, this has been very emotional for you. But the secret way through this is to detach yourself emotionally because your emotions will run over you this week. That's why, okay? If you can't, you can't objectify the situation, you will start to accuse somebody who is actually good for you of being manipulative and pulling you of, fa of false loyalty. Or you'll be, or object, or you'll finally be able to see the truth by stepping back and see where this disloyalty is actually coming from where the manipulation and where, where the true puppeteer is because it's almost like they've hidden themselves. Hmm. But the truth is going to come out. And I think it's by using this Aquarius energy that the truth is going to reveal itself is being objective. Using your wisdom 
This is a wisdom. This is counsel. This is ex maybe accepting counsel, taking advice. Truth transcends illusion and love is all around. You see clearly now who really cares about you and who really doesn't. And that there is somebody like, there. yes, even though you're in the midst of a, an SHIT storm, there is somebody like, let me tell you something. You're going to see the, you're going to see the truth of people. And I feel like there is a, a shadow, a cat, a shadow cast on you, a shadow of a doubt cast on you. somebody in your life that you really feel is you thought was such a good thing, but they're not They're They're just another version of this betrayal. But at the same time, that may just be your emotions taking over and casting that shadow onto them because the shadow is really long from whatever else this garbage is. The light is going to come from, the light that brings out the truth is going to come from you being able to remain emotionally objective because emotionally you will be overwhelmed and cast these shadows all over the place, even over good people. But if you re remain emotionally objective and look at things from that distanced perspective, you will be able to see very clearly who is false, where the problems are coming from, and who really loves you. Leo, maybe I can add a little bit of insight, help you out a little bit more. We're going to go into the full tarot card spread and pull your romance reading. The link is below. I'll see you guys over there.